Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to solve this given quadratic equation by factoring. And the, the method that we're going to be using is called no fuss factoring. And one more thing, I want to make sure you use this method only when your leading coefficient over here must be bigger than one. It should be a whole number, but not one. Make sure. So here's the very first step we are going to do. I want you to create a rainbow. Connect this first number with this last number. Connect these two numbers. I want you to multiply them out. Five times eight is 40. And at the same time, I want you to draw this x factor. It looks like an x. So whatever you multiply 5 times 8, I want you to put down 40 on the top right here whenever you multiply. And put down this middle number which is positive 13 at the bottom over here. Now I want you to focus on this number over here on the top 40. What are the possible factors of 40? So here I have already listed the possible factors of 40. You can see that one. Now I want you to look at the numbers that if you add them must give you 13. So 5 and 8 is going to be the only option we got. So I want you to put down those 5 and 8 right up here. I'm going to put down 5 right up here and 8. Once you put it down this one, now I want you to put down the signs as well. Since we have a positive 13, then for sure these two signs are going to be positive 5 and positive 8. So once again, let me remind you, when you add these two factors, you must get positive 13. And when you multiply these two factors, you must get positive 40. So that means positive 8 and positive 5 are our factors. So our next step is I want you to just write down. This is our next step. Whatever we have over here, I want you to just look at over here. I want you to just look at this thing. Positive 5x. Okay. Don't worry about this exponent. Only look at this 5x. I want you to write down 5x in parentheses and I want you to write down 5x as well. Do you see what I Once again, you just put down, just disregard this exponent power, only 5x. And then I want you to just put down these, these, whatever your, these uh, factors, just put it down over here, plus 5 and I want you to put down plus Eight. All right. Now, the next step is I want you to just look at this one. Look at your first parentheses. Do you see anything in common between them? It's of course, both are divisible by 5. I want you to divide both sides by 5. So I always make sure. So this 5 and 5 cancels out. So you got simply x plus 1 and in the second parenthesis you can see there's nothing in common so don't worry about that thing just leave it as it is 5x plus 8 so these are our factors for this given quadratic function so now in the next step, I want you to write down whatever you got your factors. I want you to just put it down right up here. That's what I put it down. X plus 1 in parentheses time 5X and set it equal to 0. So that means now since we have a two factors equal to 0, I can separate them. I can split them up. I can say X plus 1 equal to 0 and then 5X plus 
8 equal to 0. So that means x equal to negative 1 is one of our solutions. And here I want you to separate. In order to isolate x, I want you to subtract 8 first. So this reduces to 0. We got simply 5x equals to negative 8. And then I want you to divide by 5 on both sides. So our solution is going to be simply x equal to negative 8 over 5. So we got these two solutions. So thus negative 1 and negative 8 over 5 is our solution set and that's our answer. And finally here's your assignment. My question is, can you do this problem on your own? I want you to take your time. You can pause the video and start working on this thing. If you need any help, luckily I have already uploaded this video as well. Please check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.